Have you ever wondered about the pros and cons of cruiser motorcycles? These beasts of the road, with their low-slung seats and forward foot pegs, have a charm all their own. But as with anything, they come with their share of advantages and disadvantages. In this video, we're going to explore both sides of the coin, giving you a comprehensive view of these iconic machines. So, buckle up and get ready for a ride through the ins and outs of cruiser motorcycles. Stay tuned as we delve into the pros and cons of cruiser motorcycles. First, we'll explore the advantages of cruiser motorcycles. Let's dive right in, shall we? One of the most significant benefits of cruiser motorcycles is their unparalleled comfort. These bikes are designed with a low seat height and a relaxed, laid-back riding position. This means that you're not hunched over the handlebars, but instead you're sitting comfortably with your feet stretched out in front of you. This design makes cruisers ideal for long rides as it reduces strain on your back and arms, allowing for a more enjoyable journey. Then there's the style aspect. Cruiser motorcycles are often associated with a timeless, classic look that's hard to resist. With their low-slung design, elongated frames and sleek, shining chrome cruisers are pure eye candy. They're the epitome of cool, evoking images of open roads and freedom. Whether you're a fan of the vintage aesthetic or prefer a more modern take, there's a cruiser out there that will tickle your fancy. But don't let their looks fool you. These motorcycles are more than just pretty faces. Cruiser motorcycles are known for their robust and reliable engines. They're made to go the distance, providing a steady, smooth ride that's perfect for cruising down highways or exploring country roads. Plus, their low-end torque means you get a satisfying rumble and immediate power right off the line, adding to the overall riding experience. If you're new to the world of motorcycles, cruisers make an excellent choice. They're easy to handle and more forgiving than some other types of bikes. The low seat height makes it easier for beginners to reach the ground, providing a sense of stability and control. Plus, cruisers are generally less aggressive in terms of acceleration and top speed, which can be beneficial for those still getting comfortable on two wheels. Another major advantage of cruiser motorcycles is the sheer variety available. Whether you're interested in a small, nimble bike for city riding or a large, powerful machine for long-distance touring, there's a cruiser to suit your needs. Brands offer a wide range of models, from minimalist, stripped-down versions to fully loaded ones with all the bells and whistles. This variety means you can find a bike that fits your personal taste and riding style. Speaking of long-distance touring, cruisers excel in this area. These bikes are built for the open road, designed to eat up miles with ease. Their comfortable seating position combined with features like large fuel tanks and ample luggage space make them ideal for road trips. Imagine setting off on a cross-country adventure your cruiser purring beneath you, the wind in your face, it's a unique kind of freedom that only a cruiser can provide. And let's not forget the camaraderie that comes with owning a cruiser. There's a strong sense of community among cruiser riders with clubs and events all over the world dedicated to these motorcycles. Owning a cruiser gives you an instant ticket into this community offering opportunities to meet like-minded individuals and share in the joy of the ride. Clearly, there are many reasons why a rider might choose a cruiser motorcycle. But, what about the drawbacks? Now let's shift gears and talk about some of the challenges associated with cruiser motorcycles. First off, the weight. These bikes are heavy, often tipping the scales at several hundred pounds. This weight can make them quite challenging to handle, especially for new riders or those with less physical strength. Maneuvering a cruiser bike at low speeds or in tight spaces can feel like a workout, and God forbid you should ever drop one. Picking it up can be a Herculean task. Next, let's talk about maneuverability. Cruiser motorcycles are designed for long, straight highways, not tight, winding roads. They have a longer wheelbase and a raked-out front end, which can make cornering and quick maneuvers a bit of a challenge. Don't get me wrong, a skilled rider can handle a cruiser on any road, but it's not as intuitive or nimble as a sport bike or a standard. Then there's the cost of maintenance. Cruisers are often more expensive to maintain than other types of motorcycles. Their larger engines require more oil, the tires are often more expensive, and the sheer size and complexity of these machines can make even routine maintenance a more costly affair. Plus, some cruisers, particularly those from high-end brands, require specialized parts and service, which can add to the overall cost. Now, let's touch on the lack of sportiness. Cruiser motorcycles are all about comfort and style, not speed and performance. If you're looking for a bike to carve up the canyons or hit the track, a cruiser is probably not your best bet. The laid-back riding position, 
while comfortable for long rides, doesn't lend itself well to aggressive riding or high-speed maneuvers. And while there are certainly powerful cruisers out there, they're generally not designed with performance as a top priority. Lastly, we come to the potential discomfort for short rides. Yes, you heard it right. While cruiser motorcycles are renowned for their comfort on long journeys, they can actually be quite uncomfortable for short hops. The laid-back riding position can put a strain on your lower back, and the heavy weight of the bike can make it tiring to ride in stop-and-go city traffic. Not to mention the large engine can generate a lot of heat, which can be uncomfortable in slow-moving traffic or on hot days. So, while cruisers certainly have their place, they're not for everyone. They're big, heavy, and not particularly agile. They can be expensive to maintain, and they're not designed for sporty riding. And while they're comfortable for long rides, they can be less so for short trips or in heavy traffic. But, despite these downsides, cruisers remain incredibly popular. They offer a unique riding experience, with a relaxed riding position, a smooth and powerful engine, and a style that is undeniably cool. They're great for long rides, for cruising down the highway, and for making a statement. Yet it's essential to consider these cons before deciding to purchase a cruiser motorcycle. While they may be perfect for some riders, others may find them too heavy, too unmanageable, or too costly to maintain. As you can see, while cruiser motorcycles have their appeal, they certainly have their share of downsides too. So there you have it, the pros and cons of cruiser motorcycles. We've highlighted the comfort, style, and ease of handling as major advantages, while acknowledging the potential drawbacks such as weight, cost, and less agility. These factors intertwined paint a comprehensive picture of what owning a cruiser motorcycle entails. Weigh these aspects carefully as you consider your options. We hope this information helps you make an informed decision about whether a cruiser motorcycle is the right choice for you. Ride safe, and we'll see you on the next ride.